What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. Today we are talking about the solution to all of our fire troubles that a lot of us have here out west. For as long as I can remember now, every single summer there are fire bans all throughout Colorado, all of the western states, Washington, Oregon, California. And when you don't have a fire while you're out camping, it really kind of like hinders the whole experience. We've sort of just adapted to live with it. It's like, hey, we can't have a fire, it's too dry, we haven't got a lot of rain but I have a solution for it now. In this convenient little carrying case right here, I have something from a company known as Fire Anytime, and this is called the Lava Box. This is actually something that I've shown on my channel in the past, very briefly, a friend of mine had one of these, and I was able to kind of test it out, see how it worked. We got some nice fire at our campsites in the past, and I wasn't aware until somewhat recently that Lava Box, or Fire Anytime, is a local Colorado company. As a lot of you guys know, a lot of the products that I like to test and stuff that I bring with me on all my trips are generally coming from smaller like mom and pop shop type of companies. So when I found out that the Lava Box was made here in Denver, Colorado, I had to go pay them a visit and let me tell you, these guys are awesome. Their headquarters is in this really cool old slaughterhouse north of Denver and they gave me a full tour. I got to see how these things were made and maybe in the future I will bring you guys a video on how all that stuff happens. But for now we're going to dive into this little package so I can show you guys how I can now conveniently have fires basically anytime, anywhere as I'm traveling around the country. So let's dive into the top compartment itself so you can actually take a look at the lava box. I'm sure you guys have seen this in my videos in the past. It is essentially this little ammo can fire pit. Nice and small, but don't let the size fool you. This thing puts out a lot of heat and a huge flame if you want it to. So I'll set that to the side. As far as the accessories go, we do have this little accessory bag here with the lava box patch on there. We have the hose and the control valve because this is a propane fire pit. And then I've also got a few extra accessories in here. Since I was able to pick this up in person, I was able to grab a lighter while I was there. I also got some fire resistant gloves in here. That way I can move this thing around while it is hot. I've also got a little wrench to connect the hose to the actual firebox itself and then even some fireballs, which is very fitting. Now let's take a look inside the firebox itself. It is built in an ammo can, so you can simply pop the lid open and these hinges, if you're familiar with ammo cans, just pop off right like that. I believe they recommend actually taking this off when you're burning with it and I think it just kind of looks better, so I've been doing that. Now inside here, the top of this thing is filled with these hade stones. I believe they're made out of like some type of ceramic. So what that is for is basically to evenly distribute the heat instead of the burner just cranking out whatever kind of gas you're feeding into it. And then underneath these stones, you will find the actual burner itself. So to set this thing up, first we're gonna remove the little cap on the valve of the lava box. And then over here we have our fuel source. I picked up a 10 pound propane tank. It costs about maybe 10 bucks to fill. You can find these at all different places, Menards, tractor supply stores. I believe I actually found this one on Amazon, so I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Of course, when you're ordering a fuel canister online, it's not gonna come filled, so you do have to go to your local propane fill station to actually get this thing filled. So I'm gonna make sure the valve on the propane tank is closed, and then I will connect the actual gas hose. Once I get that snugged up, I'm gonna make sure the actual regulator valve is also closed, and now I can connect the hose to the firebox. Now I could probably get away with just doing that hand tight, but since they include the little wrench, I will make sure that thing is snugged up on there. That way we do not have any leaks. That's about good. And now I'm gonna make sure I have access to the first hole here in the actual burner itself. You have a wire grate sitting on top of that burner and the first hole of the burner is actually marked because that is where you're going to be lighting this thing from. Now that everything is hooked up and ready to go, I can open up the actual propane tank valve. You wanna wait a little bit, make sure you don't hear any leaks or smell any leaks. Propane is an invisible and odorless gas, but they do add a little bit of odor to it. That way you can actually smell if there is a leak. And now I will take my lighter. I recommend using a grill lighter or some really long matches because you wanna get in there and have your kind of face and body away from this when it actually lights. Light the flame over top of that first hole and then I will slowly turn on the regulator valve. If you do this correctly, it should not like poof up and kind of explode. It should light with a pretty mellow fashion. 
Now I can hear the gas coming out. There we have it lit. And now I can turn up those flames. Woo! Might have turned it up a little bit too quick there, but now we've got fire in a really small self-contained package. So now for some of the frequently asked questions, if you go and check out their website, fireanytime.com, they actually have a really great FAQ section, which is going to answer basically any question that you guys have. So I'm just gonna pick some of the questions that I had about this thing first to fill you guys in on some of the info. First up, how long will this thing last? We got some great heat going on right now, and obviously how long it lasts depends on what type of fuel canister you have it connected to, as well as how high you're actually burning this flame. Fire Anytime says that the lava box this size running off of a 10 pound propane tank right like this, depending on the level, will run between 12 and 16 hours, which should definitely get you through a weekend of camping, if not possibly more than that. I also picked up a five pound tank, which is obviously going to cut that number in half, but that should be absolutely plenty to get me through at least one night of camping. Propane is obviously very cheap, so this one costs about 10 bucks to fill up the five pound. I think it costs about five to seven bucks to fill that one. You may be a little bit inconvenienced by having to pick up propane, but also you don't have to carry firewood. You don't have to split firewood. For someone like me who camps very frequently, I'd rather not search around for firewood. I don't want to buy firewood because a little bundle of firewood costs more than it costs to fill this propane tank. There's also some huge benefits for a propane fire pit versus a wood fire fired fire pit and we'll talk about that here in a second. Now a lot of people ask can you cook on this thing? You absolutely can. I don't have the actual attachment to cook on this right now. I believe they're back ordered but I will be picking that up in the future. I believe it's called their under over and essentially it's a stand that you can put the lava box up on that way it is not touching the ground. I'm currently burning this on a metal table so this is completely fine right here but you definitely don't want to be burning this thing down on the ground when you have like sticks and twigs and tall grass around you. This thing can get pretty dang hot. So that's something to keep in mind. Also with the under over, you can actually take it off of the legs and set it on top and then it turns into a grill grate. So pretty cool way to cook if you're making steaks or basically anything. I've seen some wild stuff cooked over these little lava boxes. And now for one of the most important things when it comes to having a fire in places where it's very dry and there's constantly fire bans. Is this thing safe in a fire ban? Now obviously this is really going to depend on your local municipality, your county laws, your state laws. In Colorado, a lot of the counties will control the fire bans and the restrictions that are in place. So you really have to do your own research when it comes to determining if this thing is safe or not. But generally speaking, the lava box meets and or exceeds both stage one and two fire restriction requirements. So for the most part, I'm gonna be pretty safe with this thing. Now when it comes to a wood burning fire and a propane burning fire, one of the main benefits is that of course, if anything happens to get out of control, I reach over here to the regulating valve and now it's off. To light this thing up again, simply hold the flame down by that first hole, slowly open up the regulating valve and now we are cooking again. Another reason I'm starting to prefer this over a wood burning fire is simply because there is no smell. So whenever you are burning and having a fire pretty close to your tent, everything ends up smelling like smoke, which is nice sometimes when you're out on a week long trip with everything smelling like smoke all the time. I'd rather just not have that. So this is cleaner burning. You don't have to carry around wood. It's generally cheaper than buying wood. And it's also a lot safer because you don't have to worry about ashes and stuff flying around. If the wind picks up or if it starts raining at night, you simply turn it off and go to sleep. Now, how about using this thing in the real world? I have been using this box for a little while now. You have seen my friends in some videos in the past. Right now, this is putting out plenty of heat for probably like two to four people, but say you have a fire with like six, seven, eight people around it. All you have to do is open up this valve and it is insane how much flame this thing puts out. So there we're at like maybe a quarter open. If I crank this thing all the way up, it's thrown about like a three foot flame there. So the other night while we were camping, I set up the lava box and my friend had another propane fire pit. I believe it was coming from Camp Chef. We had them both sitting on the ground in between a bunch of people. We were all hanging out, having a good time. And I asked him, I said, hey, what does that thing look like when it's on high? He said, it is on high. 
So just for a little bit of comparison, I reached over and turned up the regulating valve and this thing blows the competition out of the water as far as the actual output. Now obviously it's not going to last as long if you are cranking this thing up on high with like a three to four foot flame, but it is nice to get a little bit extra warmth if it's just not cutting it for you. Now one of my favorite things about this fire pit, I didn't even really realize until the next morning when we woke up, it got down to about 30 degrees that night. We woke up, the sun was coming up, but it wasn't warming us up quite yet. So I figured, hey, this is fire anytime, the lava box. I might as well just light it real quick. So within a couple seconds, I got the fire lit and we were getting nice and warm in the morning. Whereas if you were on a wood burning fire pit or just having a regular old campfire, you don't want to reignite a fire from the night before, especially when you're gonna be leaving camp early that morning. So right now, if I wanna pack this thing up and leave, all I have to do is turn off the regulator valve, close the actual propane cylinder. I'll allow this thing maybe five to 10 minutes to cool and then I can load it all up and hit the road. So this thing is a very cut and dry, simple solution to a problem that we've been having for a while, fire bans everywhere. Again, this is not going to be safe every single place that you take it. You wanna check your local municipality laws, the county laws, state laws. But for the most part, this is going to be 100 times safer than burning a wood fire, especially in dry climates when it's windy. So this thing will allow us to have fires more often than not, and I'm stoked on it. It's a super small footprint. I do have it in the carrying case, so this thing is really going to live in the back of my truck for a bunch of adventures here on out. Now, if you guys have any questions on the lava box, let me know in the comments down below. I guarantee you will see this in almost every video from here on out. Also, if you're in the Colorado area, specifically around Denver, you should go and check these guys out. Head over to their website, see all of the other products that they offer. You can get just the box, you can get accessory kits, you can get the under over. They even make a box that's almost three times the size of this if you wanna up your game a little bit. Supporting small businesses, in my opinion, is the way to go. I absolutely love this thing, just how simple it is, and I'm stoked to have fire everywhere I go now. So that's all that I had for today. If you guys are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.